Um, this this pound has been um, yeah, it's been it's been tormenting me, you know, causing me uh, a lot of stress, you know. I mean, it's just no one wants to take. It. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's, it's not. It's not legal. It, 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 it looks perfectly it's fine. Not legal. What? It's not legal tender anymore. I, yeah, I know they they changed it because yeah. there was a lot of counterfeit ones yeah. going around, but so the, the I mean, can't take them. I know, like no one wants to take my counterfeit coin. It's not a counterfeit; it's just like. How do you know it's not? You didn't even check it. Excuse me, can not I bothered. use that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm kidding. It's not. It's not. Well, I don't know. I read that. It's the the ones that are counterfeit don't have the threads very defined on the edge. And it's, it's those one, in, one in every thirty pound coin, old pound coin. Yeah, yeah. That's Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's, yeah. That's like but that's, that's, a new that's, that's, that's nuts. It's shiny. Yeah, great, wonderful. Uh -huh. I get one. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Um, it's one moment for later. Uh, Can you help? Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to work here. Sorry? I'm going to start working here today. You're going to start working here today? Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't know anything about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sitting right over there, I believe. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah? No, you're not. Yeah. Okay, how else can I help you? No, I'm, I'm gonna. I need. I need a job, so I'm gonna work here. Right. Unfortunately, not. Is that all right? Okay. Thanks very much. Why not? There's a seat right there. Okay. No. No. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. No. Why not? Okay. Oh, yeah, there's people there. I guess. So. There's all sorts of seats there. You can't just start working. No. But I need a job. Right. I'll give you the website. I, I don't get enough. Enough money to survive, yeah. Okay, I'll give you the website to look for job. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Fuck you. Fucking <clears throat> <laughs> I just recorded the most hilarious video here. Yeah? It's been beset by problems, including thousands of fake job ads. Now, according to leaked documents, the Department for Work and Pensions is considering proposals to scrap its Universal Jobs Match website. Since it was launched two years ago, the government insists that the site has helped many people to find work. But investigations, including one by this program, have revealed fundamental flaws, as Ed Hoker now reports. In the past two months, this program has highlighted numerous problems with adverts posted on the government's Universal Job Match site. Hundreds of thousands of positions with duplicated job descriptions that did not offer the minimum wage or were not real jobs at all. Are you looking for a sous chef? No, we're not. We're fully staffed in the kitchen. Today, The Guardian has reported that civil servants at the Department for Work and Pensions have considered proposals to scrap the site. The department has been aware of problems with it from an early stage, and internal government documents we've seen say the site's data is not robust. However, any change may not happen until 2016, when the £15 million contract originally awarded to online recruitment firm Monster finally runs out. This raises the prospect that the problems with the site could remain for another 18 months. All that means more confusion for job seekers who have been frustrated by the website since its inception. I log on every day because I feel I have to, 
and very few jobs come up that I can even apply for. I only ever had two job interviews that came from using Universal Job Match. One was a job that wasn't as advertised at all, it was commission only, and the other was a scam that cost me £65. The Public and Commercial Services Union, which represents job centre advisors, fears the potential for 18 months of disarray. The system is flawed, uh, it's full of fraudulent uh, adverts and it needs to be replaced and Job Centre Plus needs to go back to the system where all vacancies it advertised were properly checked before they weren't public. Citizens Advice Bureau have also recently raised concerns. We have had experiences of people coming in around Universal Job Match um, and being sanctioned for inappropriately using it. So it's vitally important the government makes sure their website for finding jobs works. The DWP told us that sanctions are used as a last resort and that anyone who disagrees with the decision can appeal. It was the government's flagship resource for job seekers but the scams, duplications and loopholes we found have been causing them trouble from the beginning. Today, we found more ads for commission-only positions on the site, and this week, 19,000 ads with duplicated job descriptions appeared. Of these, 673 advertised the same freelance work, writing model essay answers for students. The problems with Universal Job Match are not over yet. The DWP told us Universal Job Match revolutionises the way job seekers find work and it has already helped many job seekers find the jobs they want since it was launched in 2012. How people find work has become increasingly digital so it's right and responsible that DWP should continually look to ensure we are making the best offer to job seekers. The current Universal Job Match contract comes to an end in 2016 so any speculation on what will happen after that is premature. Ed Hauke reporting. Cathy.